having me here. <clears throat> Welcome to another YouTube video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about my bulk. Um, obviously, I'm bulking at the moment. Tell me something that you don't know. Oh, you know what? It's actually getting so much hotter. Um, but I'm going to do a quick update um, about my body as well, the way I'm looking at the moment, so that I can compare and see how much uh, I will grow at the end of the bulk. So be sure you stay tuned. I'll be measuring myself, I'll be weighting myself. I'll be even going to, I'll be using this, oh God, it's so hot. Um, I'll even be using this machine at the gym where you basically, you, it measures everything like your water intake, your how much muscle mass you've got. Um, so I'm actually very excited to try this and take you with me. Um, but before we start, as always, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you want to start your bulking season with me as well and start putting more mass to that bum, um, make sure you start bulking with me and doing my workouts. And um, link in the description below to start my online coaching plan, and I will personalize a plan based on you. Obviously, if you want to grow your glutes, we'll be focusing on that. If you want to focus on losing weight and maybe do those things at the same time, lose weight to build a bone, we can also do that. Anyway, I'm gonna do like a quick life update first because you guys will never believe what happened. Um, I thought I'll just inform you and update you just because, I mean, I already told um, my Instagram family, um, but if you don't follow me there, make sure you do, by the way, because obviously the first updates and everything, real life, kind of real time happens on Instagram and I just show, share more there, but I had the worst, the scariest experience, the scariest experience of my life. I'm not telling you, like, just to joke about it. Um, so I was, I literally was an evening, like a normal one, and I was feeling a bit more tired than normal, but I normally always feel like that majority of the day, so I never saw anything. Um, I was feel like hotter than normal as well, but the temperatures outside are like also rising, so I'm not surprised. So I literally just decided to like nap for half an hour, just went on the sofa, napped, and when I woke up, my lip started to like get swollen. And I didn't listen, I didn't think anything of it because I was like, oh, it's a bit swollen, maybe like, I don't know, I must have bit it while I was napping or something. Anyways, listen to this. It starts getting bigger. It grows more and more. And I was like, it was quite big already, like when I went to bed, because then it was obviously like night time and I decided to go to bed. And I was like, oh my God, but my lips are quite swollen. But I was like, you know what? I'll go to sleep and I'm sure that tomorrow morning they'll go down already. I wake up in the morning my lips are literally massive like i put a picture like here so you can see it with reference but honestly the picture doesn't even do it justice you can't even tell how big they were i literally like i look like bloody shrek like <clears throat> i was like oh my god and like i was and i started to like struggle to breathe and i was like what is going on like I thought like I had an allergy reaction to something so I was like oh my god I started crying because I was like I don't know what to do because I live on my own as well and then as I picked myself up and because I was like Kiara you need to do something about this you can't just cry and struggle with breathing and everything because you'll just something will happen so I literally just Ubered it to the hospital um, and they took care of me they put like um what's the thing in, in your arm like that you drip is it a drip that they put in your arm I'm not sure that thing that they put in your arm they took blood samples and everything and they took care of me but and then like the swelling started to go down but honestly it was so scary especially when you wake up and you just see like you look at yourself and you're like like literally i was like what is going on it's so scary but i'm all good now and i'm glad i kind of like got brave to do everything by myself to go to the hospital by myself and everything and, and do all the testing by myself by myself because I'm even like I'm such a wimp when it comes to these things I'm I'm very fainty when it comes to blood like if I see blood I, I like pass out and same with needles so I was there on my own and I was trying not to look um I was looking away the whole time they had to lay me down oh god for me I'm telling you 
you are so, so dramatic, but I'm glad I'm here and now my lips are looking so much better. Um, they're still a bit, um, I would say they're still a bit sensitive and maybe slightly more swollen than normal, but they're like almost back to normal now. Um, I would say, like yesterday, wow, wow. Anyway, anyway, we're doing a body update. So, as I said, I'm, I'm on a bulk at the moment. So, the calories that I'm on at the moment, let me tell you now, because I'm gonna check my fitness pal. So, about 2,500. And I'm also posting um, end of the week, a what eat in a day, bulking season. Type of, type of vlog so if you want to check out what I'm eating to hit those calories make sure you subscribe so you never miss any videos but <coughs> yeah um, at the moment I feel like my goal is definitely to bulk now one thing that I wanted to address with you guys um, and especially I, I find this a lot with a lot of girls when they speak to me and they're like oh I'm really scared of bulking um, because obviously when you bulk, right, and you put on mass to your bum, obviously we can't decide where fat goes. It'll have to be, it'll have to spread out everywhere. So it's normal to gain weight everywhere, not just around your, around your glutes. And I know that some people might be a little bit reluctant, I think is the right word, to do that. And I do understand that because sometimes I do feel insecure, I suppose, I, I don't particularly enjoy when my face started to get, starts to get a little bit more round because I already have a round face anyway, so obviously now that I'm on my bulk I can just see that like obviously I'm accumulating more weight over my face, obviously my stomach, <clears throat> and it's normal, like you're bulking girl, so stop putting yourself into so much pressure, sorry I just literally saw this little insect you just have to think that it's temporary you're not going to stay like this it's only a phase and once you finish that and you start cutting or go back to maintenance if you prefer that you won't stay where you are now it's just like a temporary thing we need to do it for the gains you need to eat if you want to gain weight i'm sorry but you obviously you can do the recomp but the only thing with recomp is one is a little bit slower so especially if you're an advanced lifter like me for example you've been training for a couple of years recomping will be slower just because um beginners normally um they're not really used to the stimulus so building muscle is easier for them right but um i just prep i actually prefer bulking rather than being in a maintenance recomping just because I just prefer it for myself having a bit of a quicker face and also because and I, honestly it just like for a couple of weeks and you don't have to worry too much about it like I just I prefer bulking and then um, just slightly cutting down my calories after once I'm happy but I don't like one thing I'm going to tell you and I'm going to be honest with you this is going to be the first time I'm actually going to bulk um, and start and try to be consistent because what I normally done in the past I will be like yeah I'm bulking and then like I'll have like a few days off and no that's not bulking you have to bulk consistently like every single day you can't you can't just do it for a week and then because that's just defeats the whole purpose so yeah I'm gonna like be showing you how I am now in my um at the beginning of my bulking obviously I've done a few days already of bulk um but it's fine um still like I would consider myself at the beginning of it um and you know I, I know that I will wear like I will I will gain more weight around my tummy area and my face and maybe my arms who knows like I will be gaining weight overall and I still already have some like because I started to bulk already so I've got it like around my lowest but and I wanted to make it a little bit more normal to you basically and um, that's why I wanted to do this update to show you as well that I've got it and it just doesn't it doesn't just go to my butt if it makes sense so that's why I also wanted to do this update with you that being said and without any further ado I'm going to show you my physique now because I feel like I've been talking for a long time I think that these kind of videos are so cringy um but yeah I thought like it would be good to kind of see myself how I look now and then kind of see myself in a 
um, like after, if it makes sense. So I'm gonna stand up straight. Um, also, a um, little disclaimer, I've also been uh, started to, I, start, I recently started to get into my upper body training a little bit more seriously. And I started to notice some back gains now, which I'm really proud of, um, of myself um, about this anyway. Um, so, so when you want to, so I recommend for anyone just getting serious about your fitness journey to either take progress pictures or progress videos like I'm doing, for example, because just relying on weight or checking yourself out, like in terms of the scale is not enough, it's not accurate. So the best way is to take progress pictures and measure, measure yourself, which is what I do with my online coaching clients anyway. I always tell them to send pictures and for, my, for our check-ins, measurements, and obviously like weight as well, but that is less accurate. So I'm not that bothered about the weight. I'm more bothered about the measurements and the pictures. So anyway, anyway, anyway. So that's me standing up straight. I'm gonna stand up straight. Okay, I'm on this side of my body. Now I'm gonna like pose. So with tens, that's me ten. Now I'm gonna go on the side. Like no tensing, no posing. Obviously you can see here, I'm gonna get closer to the camera. Like I've got a bit of a, you know, here, like a bit of a bulge and probably will be big I will get bigger as I keep bulking and that's completely normal it's fine um so yeah now I'm gonna like pose we love that booty pose don't we now what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna measure myself as well because I think that's one of the most accurate ways to I'm also gonna like measure myself as I said before so I've got like literally a tape Really handy to have, guys. They're literally like so cheap from like um, the shops. I feel like it's not as accurate if I've got my clothes on, but anyway, I try to do my waist without it. Okay, try to measure my waist. So, my waist is. 67 centimeters. So I'm gonna write it down, so waist. So I'm gonna do my bum now because I'm not that bothered about my hips anyway, because I mean, um, hip dips and stuff like that, by the way, which by the way I have, like can you see it, I have them. Like, hip dips are normal. Can we, girls, can we normalize hip dips please? They're normal. It's on a bone level and you can't change your bones, okay? The structure of your bones. So please stop worrying about something that we cannot change. It's on a bone genetics level. So please stop worrying about hip dips. Um, so I'm not even bothered about hips to be fair. So I'm not even gonna like measure my hips, but I'm gonna measure my glutes. So I think the best way to measure yourself with your glutes is to do it from the middle bit. And I'm actually gonna do a little experiment. I'm gonna measure my glutes now, and then I'm gonna go train legs. I'm gonna um, and I'm gonna measure them straight after my leg session to see whether my glutes will grow or like to measure the pump in one sense. You know what I mean? Also, there is a lot of things to consider when you're measuring your glutes. There is a lot of things to consider, um, and that is the shape of your glutes. Okay, because some measurements can look smaller and some measurements can look bigger according to the shape of your glutes now let's say someone has got a really bubbly bum right so like it might be smaller in terms of the size so you know how it's like really hard to explain but let's say but it makes sense if you follow my explanation so let's say someone has got like a really bubbly bum okay so it's smaller but it's bubbly do you know what I mean? And now let's see someone that's got instead a larger bum, but it's not as bubbly. It doesn't mean that one is better than the other or this one, the bubbly one is bigger than this. It's just because it is a different shape. So the bubbly one will appear when obviously you measure it, you'll appear bigger than this in terms of the measurement, okay? So don't compare yourself to others. 
because every single one of every single person has got a different shape, a glute shape. So if, for example, someone that has got a bubbly bum, for example, is someone that's got a larger instead glutes, but the larger in shape, like elongates more rather than the bubbly. Do you, do you know what I mean? So if they measure yourself from the center of the glutes, they will measure more than these, the ones that has got larger glutes, but because the elongates on that side, you know what I mean, because they're larger. So they will look like that this person has got less gains than this person, but no, it's just a different shape of the glutes. It doesn't mean that they've got a bigger bum or anything or because the measurements results bigger. It's that's why I always say, just compare yourself to yourself. The measurements should always apply to you. As long as you keep progressing in terms of the measurements and your glutes progress up, don't, don't compare yourself to me, because we can have a different glute shape. Now, for me, like if you look at my glutes, being objective, um, being objective, my glutes are quite la longer, so you see what I mean? Rather than a bubbly one, that someone might have like a bubbly one, I, I'm have, I feel like my glutes are longer, like a larger on that side, rather than that side. Do you know what I mean? They're still obviously on that side, but I don't know if I'm making sense or not. I think I am, but I hope you understand what I'm talking about. But anyway, that being said, let me just measure, measure myself. 104 centimeters. So at the moment I'm at 104 centimeters. So, glutes, 104. So, it will actually be interesting to see when I go to the gym and I take it to the gym with me and I do my workout, whether my glutes will measure more or not. It'll be very interesting. Anyway, that being said, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to have some lunch and I'm going to take it directly to the gym with me to do the body tracks and to measure my how much muscle I've got, how much water I've got, which is very interesting, I think. And obviously my weight, because I don't even know how much I weigh. So I'll take you to the gym with me. Yeah, see you soon. Okay, so this is the machine that I was telling you about. This thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to have to like put you on a sort of tripod. Because I'm going to have to like jump on it and wait, let me see how it works. It's going to like, that this. I think it's like try a scan. Hopefully it works as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely not. No. Um Not free for content. Female. Sports gear. <laughs> Imagine doing nothing. Um, yeah, I would say 168, I would say. Yeah. 68, 68. It's definitely the scale. The thing is, right, to analyse. Take hold of it. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to put you down, guys, because I'm gonna have to take hold of these. But I'm doing it. Right. So it's actually done there because that's me by BMI 23.8, fat free mass 48.8 kilos, body weight. Okay, so that's how much I weight, guys. 67. Okay, so 45.9 kilos is muscle. Water is 34. Fat is only 18. Well, only. I mean, it's like 27%. So 30% body fat. Suppose my metabolic age is my age, which is not great, but could be better. I need to do more cardio, what I'm actually realising. Okay, literally coming so close because I'm scared you're not going to be able to hear me, but I thought I would measure myself now. Actually, just measuring myself in front of the gym, like not embarrassing at all. Oh. 
I'm 107, and before I think I was 105. So I'm gonna check at home, but 107 right now, measuring. Um, 07. So I'm gonna check at home because I can't remember actually how much I put that. Oh, I actually wrote it on my phone. It's so weird. Uh, 107. <coughs> before 104, 5, 6, 3 centimetres of a pub. That's insane. That's really good. Um, but yeah, if you want to see what workout I did, just check out my latest workout video that I post. It's literally that. But yeah, I'm just gonna... <laughs> literally, the camera went for me, but I'm gonna see you at home. So, thoughts, first of all, about the body update and everything. That machine made me a little bit self-conscious, I'm not going to lie, um, but I spoke to actually other people at the gym and apparently they had really bad results as well and some people are actually like really fit as well, like shredded and more shredded than me. So I'm not sure how accurate that is, but <clears throat> I do know for sure that I've got like a obviously a higher body fat percentage, I did expect that. Before even we went there, I said I would expect my body fat to be quite high. And I suppose you can tell already just by looking at my body that, like, I'm not the leanest. I've never done a cut in my life. <laughs> so I'm not surprised that my body fat percentage is quite high. Um, but it's good to know that I carry the most of the muscle and the most of my weight in my legs and glutes. Um, obviously, we knew that. <laughs> Um, that's why I train so hard, but yeah, definitely the, um, the goal will be probably after this cut to try and do, sorry, sorry, after this bulk, um, I'll probably try and do, you know what, I'll try and do a cut and see how it is because it'll be fun even to find out how I will look like, um, maybe a little bit leaner. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this and make sure you like and subscribe and I'll speak to you very soon.